to be stuffing and sewing our bean bags closed today. First thing we need to do is fill our bean bag with a filling of our choice. I'm going to use some old expired rice. If you have plastic pellets, that would work great. If you have dried beans or something, that would work fine too. Um, even small stones like gravel would work okay. I could just pour it in there, but I'm going to make an enormous mess if I do that. I could use a funnel, or if I don't have a funnel, I can take a piece of paper and fold it with the corners into the center to make a small funnel. I'll tape it shut so I don't have to hold it while I'm working. to make it a little wider and I'll tuck it into the hole that I left in my bean bag and I'll gently pour the rice in my hole is not quite big enough I've got some rice stuck on there stuff your bean bag. You want there to be a little space at the top. It'll make it easier to sew. Now with the next step, we want to sew this opening closed and we want to try to hide our stitches as much as possible. We also want to hide these frayed ends. So we're going to tuck them down into the bean bag. And pinch them closed so that they look like the rest of the bean bag right there, and then we'll pin it shut before we start sewing so that it doesn't move while we're sewing. I'm gonna pin close but not right up next to that edge, push down, fold back, and pinch closed. Now it's time to get the needle. I'm going to begin in this corner and I have to tie a knot first. So I'm going to go down into one side, pull my needle down, and go back up from the same side of fabric. Then I'll tie a typical beginning knot where I take the short side, cross it over, Wrap it around and pull it through. One, two. What I'm going to be doing to stitch this seam is I'm going to be hopping back and forth between this side, we'll call it the green side, and this side, we'll call it the white side. My thread is coming out right here, so I'm gonna skip straight over to the white side and I'll poke down right where that white fabric is folded over and then I'll poke back up. There we go. I'll tug my needle to pull it tight and now I'm going to skip back over to the green side down, pull my needle down towards the table and then poke it back up. Pull tight. Do you notice how with my non-sewing hand I'm holding, I'm pinching the fabric closed even though it's pinned? This helps me keep control of my fabric so that when I'm poking the needle down, I'm poking it exactly into that folded spot. Skipping straight across down and back up. Let's 
skipping straight across, down and back up. Skipping straight across, down, back up. Try to keep your stitches small and under control. Down and back up. Skip across, down, back up. Skip across to the white side, back to the green side, back to the white side, back to the green side. My tail of my thread is in danger of getting caught in my fabric. So I'm going to just tug on my needle a little bit and gently loosen the tail. If you had your thread tied on, you would need to untie it and then retie it. Now right here at this pink thread, that's where my old thread stopped. You'll notice it's a little loose. So knowing that, I'm going to keep stitching so that I can tighten up that loose spot so my bean bag won't have a weak part of the seam. I'm gonna stitch right to my this marker that I made for myself before I recorded. So now I've stitched overlapping my old stitches. Now I need to tie a knot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tuck my needle down in that gap and I'm going to try to catch on one of the strings from my other sewing. Right here I have a pink string that I've caught on. So I'm going to pull my needle under the string and then see that loop I made? Go back through the loop. This is just like tying an end knot. Tug it nice and tight. As long as my seam doesn't pucker, I'm okay. Do you see how it puckers right there? I'll gently tug it to smooth it out. I'm gonna do one more knot because it always takes two times to make a good knot. Under and through the loop. If I tug and my seam doesn't pucker, then I know my knot is secure. Now I've got this big tail that I need to do something with. I'm going to hide it in the bean bag. I'll put my needle down through the gap and instead of getting it stuck on a thread, I'm going to just keep poking it down and try to make it poke out another side of the bean bag. I'll tug firmly and then trim it off. This thread here, this loose one, we're going to treat a similar way. I unthreaded my needle and I'm going to poke it down into the gap. And now with it in the gap, I'll thread it. This time I'm just gonna go natural without a threader. And I'll poke it out another part of the bean bag, it doesn't matter where, and pull until my, my stitch is gone. That's it. I can take out my pin and my bean bag is finished. Mm -hmm.